Welcome everyone. Um, this is fast training video number six. Okay, and today what we're going to do is we're going to do a hit workout, a high intensity interval training workout. Okay, the, the these type of workouts are very popular at the moment in gyms, in facilities like mine, because it's exciting, but most importantly. It is not time consuming it's 30 minutes 45 minutes and then you've burned as much calories as you would have in an hour to an hour and a quarter session okay so that's why it's really popular but unfortunately most trainers and athletes are not really doing the heat sessions or heat workouts as it was meant to be okay it's all in the name high intensity which means that you are doing the activity full pace at 95 to 100 percent whether you're running or cycling or you're lifting weights you're doing pull-ups you're doing it at a hundred percent then comes the interval part you need to rest and recover fully okay so that when you do it again you can do it at a hundred percent or at 95 percent again and this is where most people are doing it wrong they only recover for a short period of time because they want to feel like they've killed themselves at the end of, of the of the session and that's not wrong it's not wrong we all we all want to feel like we've worked but if you want to do it the right way and this is mostly for for athletes if you want to tax a specific energy system you need to recover fully okay now in a heat in a heat workout we use the anaerobic energy system which uses carbohydrates for energy and supplies energy very very quickly okay but it gets taxed very quickly so you need to recover if you do not do it if you do it the way that we all are doing it at, at the moment the heat you won't you won't fully recover which means that your anaerobic energy system can't supply the energy at the rate that it's supposed to so you're going to start doing the activity slower and slower and slower and then at a stage you're going to go into a, the anaerobic energy system which then burns fat once again not a problem for most of us but if if you want to tax a specific energy system like i say you have to do it the right way okay now today today i'm going to do a heat training session the way it's supposed to be done okay and then tomorrow i'm going to do the same four activities four exercises but in the way that we're doing it now which i'm, I'm saying is not wrong but i'm going to show you the difference okay so here's the four exercises that we're going to do and but all four of these exercises you can do at home okay they are a little bit advanced okay but there's always variations to these exercises and actually maybe that that could be a, a video for a next time is, is variations on exercises okay from easy to advanced okay but that's a video for another time okay so a hit the correct way to do a hit exercise training training program is to do the activity for 20 to 30 seconds as fast as you can and then you need to recover anywhere between one and a half minutes to three minutes depending on your your fitness level Okay, now I'm going to do it 30 seconds and then I'm going to rest for about one and a half to two minutes when I feel that I'm fully recovered. Okay, I'm going to do four exercises. Each exercise I'm going to do three, three times. Then only will I move on to the next exercise. Three times again to the third exercise, three times again to the fourth exercise. Okay, so the first one, very difficult exercise, is called the Gorilla Burpee. It's a lunge jump, lunge jump, squat, burpee. Okay, that's one, one rep. So let's go. Okay, lunge jump, lunge jump, squat, burpee. Well, that's one. Lunge jump, lunge jump, squat, burpee. Lunge jump, lunge jump, squat, burpee. Can you see the intensity is very, very high? Squat, burpee. Okay, and that you do for 30 seconds. Then you rest until you are fully recovered. One and a half minutes to two minutes. Then you do it again for three times. Okay, then we go on to the next exercise. Now the next exercise is mountain climbers. Okay, but I'm gonna bring in a slight variation. I'm gonna do a normal mountain climber. Then I'm gonna tuck both my legs in. Okay, 
So let's go. 30 seconds now. Mountain climber, mountain climber, both legs. Mountain climber, mountain climber, both legs. Mountain climber, mountain climber, both legs. Okay. And that you do for 30 seconds. It's quite a tough exercise. Okay, then three times. So my breathing is back to normal. I've done two exercises now. Three, three times each, three sets each. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the third exercise, which is upper body exercise for the biceps and the back. Okay, so once again, as fast as you can, and for 30 seconds, okay. So we're going to do bice, bicep curl, upright row, bicep curl, upright row still focus on your technique elbows high upper arm still 30 seconds now. okay when 30 seconds is done then you rest make sure that your arms fully recovered now the last exercise that we're going to do is wide squats to narrow squats same thing 30 seconds okay three times rest in between very long okay we have wide squats narrow squats wide squats make sure your technique is right see my toes my knees and my toes are in one line my back is straight palm goes down and that's 30 seconds okay and then you rest okay and that's your 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 set so i'm still tired once i've done the exercise i'm still tired but then i recover fully so that i can do it again in a maximum 